going to school, I was, I was bad. My mom was a single parent, I didn't have a father, so he got locked up. It felt miserable and I was angry. I wanted people to feel what I felt, being bitter all the time. I'm looking at everybody else and I'm jealous, I'm sad. And at one point I ended up getting taken from my mom. My mom had a nervous breakdown, so I had to basically survive on my own. It wasn't good at all. And I'll just be out of control with all of my emotions and not being able to handle it. I was just angry. I first went to jail when I was 11 years old for fighting at the school. I was 12 when I first started getting involved with gangs. And before I was willing to change, I had prayed to God and I just told him just to take away this evil from me. It was just getting to the point to where I was getting in trouble. Like I felt like I had to leave Tacoma in general. And from there, I didn't know what school I was gonna go to. A lot of people tell me, oh, you know, Seattle Urban Academy might be a good school for you to help you academically. And I was already trying to find my path with God. And I heard that they actually like, you know, they help with that. My name is James. I attend Seattle Urban Academy, and I am currently a sophomore. My first day of school, I was kind of nervous, but you know, something told me that I'm in a great place and just to be myself. I noticed from the staff members that like everybody's smiling, and just everybody's just in a good mood, and you can tell that they just want the best for you. It was basically like a fresh start for me. So I fed off that and that positive energy and I'm doing better than I ever have. I'm Dr. Michael Freeland. I'm one of the teachers at Seattle Urban Academy. I teach the history classes and senior research. How the students see themselves when they come here, it can be a little daunting for them. Uh, there are some students who might at first think this isn't the place for me because so much is being asked of me, which is never asked before, I could slide by. And then they realize that once they do that first assignment, once they get an A on that first paper, that first test, you've got this light that goes on and they think, I can do more. And so they realize that even though we're setting high standards, it's for their benefit. And when they realize that they can do it, it makes a world of difference. And the more they accomplish, the more they will continue to accomplish. Dr. Freeland, he's a very good man, and he just wants you to be a better person, and, you know, further your education, and he never wants you to settle for anything less. And he always sets the bar extra high. He knows that you can meet that standard and more. It's always good to have a relationship with somebody that you can trust, look up to, or just even talk to, and just know that they have your back, and to have like a good support system. They came here not sure if they would ever finish high school and they go on to college and they finish college, they're doing really well in college. You can't beat that. You feel like you've done something. You've just put a spark in somebody's life or you planted the seed and it's, you're seeing it grow. I didn't see myself doing this good in school. I have high hopes of going to college and I'm starting now to apply myself for those colleges. This school really helped me out a, a lot in big ways that I never would thought possible because it's basically like my family now. Even if we can't be their biological family, we can be their Christian family outside of the home and show them that they're loved. And while doing that, provide them with the best education we possibly can give them and just equip them to go into the larger world and share the love of Christ that they've developed here with other people. I take my past life as an experience I can one day help others overcome with their circumstances that they're forced to live. And I know that God has my back. He's taken more and more bitterness from me, and I enjoy it every day. I am becoming more patient with my life. Yeah, my relationship with God is just continuously growing, so it gives me a lot of hope. <laughs>